Hello everyone. This is Frankie with Meekspace.com. This video I'm going to show you a little bit about the Kindle Fire 7 inch 5th generation. I've customized mine. Um, you may have watched the previous video where we uh, showed you how to install the Google Play Store as well as put the custom Nova launcher on. Um, I'm going to show you how to work a little bit with the, the Nova launcher as well as how the, the Kindle Fire works with some of the applications you're probably concerned about. So let's get started on that. Uh, we're going to have to unlock our Kindle Fire here. You notice I've obviously I'm a Cowboys fan and I've changed my wallpaper but to do that if you hold your finger on the background you'll get a, an option where you can actually add a widget or you can go into wallpapers and so if you click wallpaper you can actually use one of the wallpapers there along the bottom or you can go to pick image and you can choose a different image um, if you wanted to put something else up on there like for instance if I wanted to switch uh, to a different background I could just choose that and then at the top choose set wallpaper and that would be my my new wallpaper so <clears throat> basically uh, what I've done at the bottom here um, is I've created folders so if you click on one of those icons there's actually apps that I have separated into different folders and uh, you can do the same thing just by dropping an icon on top of another icon and it'll create a folder and put those two icons or two apps in that folder the center one is the all you know that opens up your your folder with everything that you've got installed on your device and say I wanted to put something there on the desktop say for instance weather there at the bottom if I hold my finger on that I can drop it right there on the screen and uh, use it from there or if I wanted to put that in a folder I would just hold my finger on it and drag it down and drop it on one of those folders now if I open that up you can see weather is in there so we're gonna move that into multimedia because I could probably use it there so yeah so that's kind of how how I've done that each one of these just have different things in there and are separated according to the way I use my uh, tablet. Now I wanted to show you how the, the device actually runs some of the important apps such as JW Library. If we open up the uh, JW Library app, basically I wanted to show you what it's like when we try to open up a scripture. This is one I've not opened before. And it's not, you know, Speedy Gonzales, but it certainly works fine. And it's nice and smooth. Now, if you scroll from the top down, it uh, brings up your menu system. And you want to use the bottom arrow when you're inside something. If you use that top navigation in the top left, the, the JW logo, it'll get you completely out to the beginning. And we don't want to do that here. I want to just step out a couple of times to something I've gone to before here Psalms 83 18 and it's a little bit faster if you've already gone to it but it's about the same scroll down from the top and we're gonna this time use the logo at the top to get back to the home page now we're gonna pull up a publication and I'm gonna go into a workbook and uh, see how that works Okay, so we'll go into February 8th through the 14th this week. Pretty smooth. It scrolls pretty smooth. You may see a little lag on the screen, but it's actually really smooth when I'm doing it on the tablet. <clears throat> if we open up something that's got some images, that worked fine. We'll go back. Let's say uh, we go into these scriptures here. That was nice and fast. We'll hit that bottom arrow to go back. Let's go into this Watchtower article. That was nice and smooth. We'll go back. Let's go down and try the song. Yeah, that's fine. Works good. Yep. So what about the uh, Bible study? Yep, that, that all 
works nice and smooth. Inside here we can't highlight. We had to have to actually go to that publication. So I'm going to go do that. Let's go out of here by hitting that top logo. And um, let's go to uh, all types of publications. We'll go into the Imitate Their Faith and go into Samuel. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's plenty fast enough for doing all your Theocratic stuff. Um, using it at the meetings to follow along or to uh, participate or using it in the ministry. It's small enough to carry with you in your book bag, uh, in your suit pocket. Um, it's a really nice device. Let's see what happens when I try to highlight. Works good. What happens if I want to delete that? Works good. Yeah, scrolls up and down fine. Let's go to a set of scriptures. That all works good. Yeah, happy with the way it's performing. So let's uh, go into Watchtower. Down to the study article. Uh, let's see. Here's where we're at. Use the power of your tongue for good. Let's open that up. Not bad at all. Now if I wanted to do some highlighting in here, how does that work? Oop. So you got to put your finger right on the little edge there. The screen's, you know, a 7-inch screen. It's a little smaller than my full-size iPad, so, you know, you don't have as big of a window to select your items, but it's it's smooth. It's not difficult, really, at all. Um, yeah, I mean, it's fine. All right, let's scroll from the top here and go back. Back. Next thing we're going to try is... Uh, a video. So let's go down to videos. Let's go into kids or children and then become Jehovah's friend. And I've downloaded a few. Let's watch this be generous. I'll let you watch it here. just fine. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't notice. I'm going to hit the, the little square on the bottom right and see what I've got running here. So you can see I've got quite a few things running here. And that, that could have something to do with, I, I noticed a little bit of audio stutter. Uh, no video stutter, but uh, not bad. I mean, certainly just fine. But you may want to, like, you know, open that up and close some of your other things that you've got running. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, I mean, friends, that's really about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, as you can see, the device, uh, it works just fine for theocratic things. Uh, you can customize it. Um, really, I don't see any, any reason to uh, to you know have to spend a lot of money I think this does just the same job as an iPad mini would do um, but a lot less money 39.95 at 
Best Buy or Amazon.com. Uh, it's got a micro SD slot, so you can add up to 128 gigs of storage if you feel like 8 gigs is not enough. And um, yeah, I mean, I highly recommend the device, and uh, I think it, it's going to be perfect. I'm going to keep this one specifically for me to use in the ministry, and I'll continue to use my iPad, uh, my full-size iPad at the meeting just because I already have it. Um, and uh, but this is a, a much better size for using out in the ministry and I think it would work fine at the at the meetings as well anyway thanks for watching this uh, tutorial slash review uh, of the uh, Kindle Fire 7 inch 5th uh, generation